So friends, this is the last piece of this particular series for now. We didn't get some things like Keesler Air Force Base, but I have been able to set that up for next time. And we've got a couple of other little things we'll grab and I'll add to the end of the series. But up till now, this will kind of conclude and tell you what happened with Elvis in June. Stay tuned. Does he? So friends, that is Canal Street right down there, the famous Canal Street. You can see they still have trolley cars here. This is St. Charles. And the story is that, that uh, Elvis and June were driving and they were, they were still back in uh, Biloxi. And they heard on the radio a DJ saying that he wanted to interview June because it was talk that they were gonna get married. So he said, okay, well, if they want to interview you, let's go give them an interview. So they drove straight from Biloxi to here, went to St. Charles Hotel, went up into the mezzanine, and actually he called them to find out what the address was, and came here and kept going around the block. You can see this is a one-way street going this way. And he kept going around the block trying to find somewhere to park, couldn't find anywhere to park, and finally just said, heck it which is a call back to Adam the Woo, my buddy, and parked right here and just double parked and went in and did an interview. So we're gonna go in and see if we can go upstairs and see where it happened at in the mezzanine. Stay tuned. So friends, right here is Union Pasture Terminal. It was actually built in 1956, so it was brand new at the time. This was the train station uh, in New Orleans. Elvis had sent a telegram to uh, June and asked her to come meet him here because he'd be traveling through. June and Pat came here. June went on the train car and tell us what happened then. All right, so June's on the train car here with Elvis and Elvis is so excited to tell her that you're not gonna believe what I bought baby back home in, in Bluxy, I mean in uh, Memphis for us. Mama's waiting for us, come on, we're going. No, but you know, we, we can, uh, Pat's with us. Don't worry about that. I'll send a, one of the boys back to Biloxi uh, to take Pat, but we gotta go now. Don't worry, if you don't have any clothes, you know, I'll take care of that. You just, I can't, you know, you, you're just not gonna believe what I got for you that I bought. Well, she finally worked up the nerve to tell Elvis that she had gotten engaged. So Elvis sat there and said, you did what? And he they sat there in silence for, for, for a while and um, she finally, the, I think she heard a horn about, you know, last call, that the train was about to take back off. And they had to um, say goodbye to each other there. And uh, Elvis watched her there and waved. She just sat there and cried as Elvis, she saw go off into the distance till she couldn't see anymore. And uh, she goes back to Biloxi, of course. And the next morning, she reads the newspaper Elvis had bought Graceland. And that's what the surprise was that Elvis had told her was ours. And you're not gonna believe what I bought. I can't wait for you for to us. see this, for us. It was Graceland. And that happened right here at this Union Passenger Terminal, friends. There is the Superdome. There, if you see it right over there, Smoothie King. You see the Hyatt and you could see the highway out there. But that day changed for June. If she'd have gone with Elvis this day and not gotten married to the other man, the stories that we all hear would be completely different than the ones that we hear today. It would have been a completely different history. And June had the ability to tell the man she was supposedly, uh, or she was engaged to, no and go with Elvis, but she chose to go with him. Wow, these little decisions that change the course of life and change the course of history, amazing. <laughs> so this big old terminal right here, it's changed. It hadn't changed much. But Elvis rode through here on the train. It happened right out there. We don't know where, but we do know it happened here. So friends, 
This thing was completed in 1954, so in 56 it was still basically brand new. We misspoke earlier and said 56. The man told us that this was the first air-conditioned transport terminal in the country. This is the first place to have air conditioning in, it in the whole entire country. It's an Amtrak train station now. The Amtrak tracks, as I showed you, go that way. He said the other tracks used to go all the way to the Superdome over there. There was 12 of them. They're all gone now. So it would have happened most likely over on that side between here and the Superdome. So another little piece of the Elvis puzzle. So they came out here and pulled over and walked on the beach and Elvis reminisced and told June that this is where he had fallen in love with her. And they walked out to the end of the pier, right here. <laughs>